G'day, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Jim, who is a multiple car of the week winner with several of his other cars. He told me he had this one coming in, and, and once I saw it, I went, that has got to be car of the week. What is it, mate? It's a 1959 Berkeley. A Berkeley. You ever heard of such a thing? It is so small. Check this thing out. Jim, I know I hadn't heard of a Berkeley until you told me about it. Um, you hunted high and low for a car like this. What's your history on your attachment to the car? Well, when I was a kid, I was about 17 years old, and me and some friend of mine went over to a dealer in Monterey Park for the Berkeleys. And we looked at them at that time, and from then until I bought this one, this is only the second one I've ever seen. And anyway, I found it. It was in Chicago, and I just bought it recently. Oh, that is so cool. So, so you've only seen two of them. Do you know how many of them were actually built? There was about 600 of the Roadsters, and then there was, uh, I think, about 2,000 three-wheelers that they built. So, I don't think that would have been the most stable. Was that the third wheel on the back or the on in the, the back. back? Yeah, right. One wheel on the back with the front wheel drive like this. Yeah, right. Interesting. So, um, so this is front wheel drive. We're going to look under the under the hood in just a moment because it's absolutely gorgeous. So, with that, um, let's talk about where the car was built and and the history behind Berkeley's and how they came to be. Okay, well they were built in England and they were built mostly for the American market. Interesting. And they're all fiberglass bodies and they're all aluminum frames. And then they have an aluminum underpan, so they makes them really stiff. Yeah, right. But real lightweight. They weigh, this car weighs less than 800 pounds. Goodness me. Um, yeah, and it's and it's interesting because you look at you look at the car and it's you can tell it's almost got motorcycle influence on it, particularly that motor that's under the hood there. That's uh, that's basically a three-cylinder motorcycle engine, correct? Well, the, it was built by a motorcycle company, uh, Excelsior of England, but uh, this engine was built for the Berkeley car. Interesting. So it's it's different from the from any motorcycle engine, and yep. it's 500 cc's and puts out uh, around 30 horsepower. And it's a two-stroke, correct? Two-stroke. But it's not a self-mixing two-stroke. You actually have to pre-mix the, the fuel pre right. before you put it in there. So they only built a handful, and you, you've obviously always wanted one. So tell me about the story of when you found this car and what What did it feel like when, you, when, it, when it arrived, when you finally got this car that you'd wanted since you were a kid, basically? Yeah, it's one, I, one of my cars I've uh, always wanted to have. And actually, again, my wife found it, and it was on uh, Bring a Trailer. Wow. So anyway, I, I probably paid twice what one of these goes for, but this was a really nice one, so. Oh no, the condition of it's beautiful. Has it been restored recently, do you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine. You know, it's, it's like an older Corvette. There's fiberglass is great, but it, it, it needs a bit of TLC, and it can have issues with sagging and some of those things. But I guess the other side about this too is that Aluminum underpinning is going to help keep everything, the integrity, I guess, of the shape where it needs to be, correct? Right. These cars uh, held up good until they got hit in the front, and then they were junk. <laughs> yeah, back in the days when, when when testing didn't have to happen, I guess. Because yeah. there doesn't seem to be a lot of extra reinforcing in the front end, right? No, they're really, really delicate. And the fiberglass on them, like any fiberglass car, a lot of them were just went away because the fiberglass started cracking. And, yep. And uh, so to find one in this kind of shape means that a lot of restoration or it was really taken care of. So is there a metal frame under the fiberglass that can happen like a bird cage as they'd say with a Corvette? Yeah, it's an aluminum frame. And But in the doors and then some oh. of the structure? Oh no, uh -uh. the it's... doors are all just fiberglass. Oh look at this, we can actually see it on, on the doors over yeah, there. Yeah, see right. Yeah, look at this, really interesting. I love the simplicity you've got. Let's have a look. You've got a uh, petrol, obviously English, and looks like voltage over there, amp, amps, yeah. and a speedo, and that's that's all you got. In, blinker on the side, and I guess headlight, maybe a, has it got a heater in there? No. No heater. 
Well, yeah. if you're taking the sand thing out, you're probably not too worried about that. Good place to have it is in Southern California. Well, Jim, as our, once again, Car of the Week winner on this beautiful little Berkeley, you win this Meguiar's complete kit, which includes the uh, hot shine foam, the quick interior detailer, pure, perfect clarity, glass cleaner, ultimate wash and wax, the uh, hybrid uh, ceramic detailer and a microfiber towel. Keep this wonderful, wonderful little Berkeley in the pristine condition it's in. Congratulations, mate, and thank you for bringing it out. Thank you.